photography here with a DIY fashion project. I had an idea to make a fur vest out of a fur coat that belonged to my grandma. I would wear the coat, but it's it was made for a smaller petite woman and I am tall and thin. So, uh, gotta make some adjustments there. Let me show you what it looks like. It's so soft. <laughs> Silky on the inside and soft and cozy on the outside. I do not know what it's made out of. I know this is an ink. I'm not sure what the rest of it is. So soft. See? Soft. I like the color too. But it, I mean, it's a three quarter length sleeve, which doesn't really work for me. And it's kind of moxie. So I wanted to take off the sleeves and attach the lining to the armholes on the inside. Make it work for me. Would you like to see how it was made? It's super fascinating. So the detail in this coat is beautiful. The, there's a pleated section around the neck, which kind of hides the seam. And oh, the lining itself is pretty, ivory with flowers. And I have my grandmother's initials, which is very nice. I'm going to mark, make sure I don't cut those up. It comes with pockets on each side and a secret pocket. I kind of wonder, is that really a pocket? But yes, it's fully lined. And it goes all the way down to the bottom of the coat. So I'm going to keep that too. My plan is keep the collar on, keep the front panels the way they are, and just cut off the arm, leaving enough to turn inside, and then I'll reattach the lining. So that means I'm going to have to slit the lining up. So I'm not going to cut the lining and the fur at the same time. I cut them separately. Slit it up to the arm, take the arm off, and leave enough to tuck it under and make it neat and tidy. And I'm not sure how I'll fasten it, except there's... I'll keep the button probably up here. And there's a little hook here. I think I'll take in the sides or maybe the back a little bit. Make some darts in it to fit it a little bit. I mean, it's meant to be a car coat for a petite lady. So I'll have to adjust it a little bit, but it should be fun. Here we go. I've turned the sleeves inside out and separated the lining of the sleeve, the lining of the back on both sides. I believe this gray felt is here to help ease the shoulders when you put it on so it doesn't rip the fur. So I will have to figure out how to keep that in some way. Maybe. Isn't it neat how they put this together? So many seams just all over. Okay, and since the sleeves are diagonals, they're part of the body of the coat. Um, I'm going to have to cut straight, I think, and get some of the lining off of the sleeve to tack down on the inside. And I've opened up part of the bottom so I can take it in a little bit on the sides. <sighs> so that is the project for today. It will be very fun. Can't wait to see what it looks like when it's done. A tip if you want to make something out of fur yourself when you're cutting it, try to only cut the backing of the fur and not just chomping away at the whole thing because um, it will mess up the pile so when you make a seam it will look like you're missing some fur um, but if you cut try to just cut the leather part the fur overlaps your seam and covers it up so nicely so just cut the leather part. Here we go. Sleeves are off. I have a nice pile of fuzz that sticks to everything and I have a fan going in my room so of course it's blowing everywhere. Anyways, we are going to start putting it back together now. I think I have to cut some lining. No, well, maybe not. I might be alright. And taking in the sides a little bit. Alright, on to the next step. Started sewing up near the neckline because I found some holes and it's really just kind of ripping. Kind of just, it is ripping. <laughs> uh, so I need to, I'm going to add some interfacing, kind of like what they did here with this satiny fabric to give the stitches something to hold on to and we shall see if that's going to work. I have one side finished and even to the point of getting the lining attached back to the inside of the coat of the vest 
I had to piece it a little bit. But you won't really you can't tell unless you look inside, so I think it looks pretty good. And now I'm going to start on the other shoulder. <clears throat> I took it in in the back using this underfacing to give it some stability. I did a back stitch to close it. I used this interfacing all over wherever I took it in. Took it in on the side. Give it some more stability in the shoulders. I found that when I was, as I was sewing the holes in the shoulders, more holes kept appearing. It kept ripping and ripping. So I had to be very careful and gentle and I just probably can't, you know, play major sports in this thing. <laughs> it would be ripped to shreds. So I did detail here. I kept the felt on the shoulders. Add to the stability. And now I'm going to uh, attach the lining on this side. The other armhole is finished. Might be a little creative with the piecing and tucking, but it's on the inside, so <laughs> it'll be fine. Here is the finished product. Very pleased with how it turned out. This might become a habit and make some more of these. <laughs> like some fur coats. <clears throat> so I added darts in the front took in the sides and put some darts in the back. The fur covers them nicely, so it looks like it's supposed to be there, which is pretty neat. A finished project. I like it very much. It's very cozy and warm, and it's supposed to be really cold tomorrow, so maybe I'll get to wear it. If you would like to see more DIY project videos, let me know. That would be really fun to do. Have a great day!